Hello folks, and welcome back to The Barn, where we are in the midst of our drivetrain swap on the E39. When you last saw us, we hadn't uh, really started in on it, but now, as you can see, our Siemens 1PV5135 530D manual gearbox have been removed. In their place, we have managed to shoehorn in our GS450H gearbox. Now apologies for the light here, I'm still kind of working on that. But right in there, you're going to see where we have our front mount on our 450H uh, gearbox is in. And uh, it's just a bit of box section, tying us in there to the, the old front mount where we had the Siemens motor and that ties us in there to the original engine mountings. So we're bolted up and I've got the little brackets in here just welded on for the oil pump controller which will be going there and the inverter which will be going here in the middle. We've got those guys here, inverter and oil pump controller. So this was just a lot of kind of maneuvering and getting stuff in there. I didn't bother filming any of that because it's just, you know, it's just me cursing and swearing and struggling. Uh, not very video worthy. Uh, pro tip though, don't buy one of these things. They're crap. And so inside the car, we've removed the manual uh, shifter and we've retrofitted an E39 uh, automatic shifter. Now this was a bit of a bit of a struggle, as I'll show you underneath the car in a minute, just with how the Lexus and the BMW handle um, the shifter connection. So I'll just try and uh, go through the shifts here on this. I have to manually just release the shift lock, but well, that's park. Um, oh. <laughs> trying to do this one-handed park reverse neutral and drive ah there we go so yeah um we get all of our shifts here i can uh do a little bit better here so that's drive um neutral reverse and then we just go into park and it just locks into park at the minute because don't have any connections or power going to our shift lock uh, solenoid here but this is a BMW E39 um, shifter uh, connected up to our Lexus gearbox so we'll jump under the car now and I'll show you what's going on there show you the shifter and some of the bracketry work in there as well just for those interested. So here's a little bit of a look from underneath just at the front mount. It's very straightforward, uh, just a bit of steel. Um, <coughs> welded and uh, bolted up to the bell housing. And you can see in there we have our um, Clutch damper from the Lexus is just welded to this cross member here that's locking our uh, input shaft. Pretty much, just so you can see where the gearbox is uh, just hung in there very nicely into the, into the transmission tunnel. We have some hoses there for cooling already rigged up and you can see our uh, oil pump there just on the left of the shot. Down here on the, <coughs> the rear cross member, we're using the Lexus uh, 450 cross member just with a modification here. Sorry, it's really bad light. Uh, just with a bit of 25 mil box section welded in place of the original top of it and drilled to match uh, the mounting holes where a, uh, an automatic would have bolted its cross member, uh, just a standard 
uh, automatic uh, in a engine powered E39. See these holes here will be for the manual gearbox because it's uh, a bit shorter. So we use the ones back here um, for the automatic and it pretty much gives us a nice um, situation here because the bell housing is just behind the, the anti roll bar. So it's pretty much spot on fit. Um, you know, there's no problems getting it to fit in here uh, in that way. So at the back here, we've got our prop shaft flange um, and that's our automatic shifter uh, just in up above. And I've got the Lexus prop shaft and the BMW prop shaft um, off with a drive shaft company now to get them to make it the right length for me and to put the Lexus uh, front end basically on the BMW prop shaft. So once we have that in then, uh, pretty much all the work underneath the car will be done and I can let the front of it down anyway and start uh, wiring up uh, the inverter and the VCU and get a bit of cooling on here and we'll be able to uh, get this thing spinning. Uh, so this will be a little bit tricky to show you here just with the shifter, but BMW use a cable shifter uh, so this is a Bowden cable, basically, as there's a little solid piece of it here. Whereas Lexus uh, use a solid link. Um, uh, so this is the shifter. This is the pivot point. This is what we need to turn to shift the box uh, between the various states. Let me move the light a little bit there. I'll be able to see better. So. Um, the problem that we had was that this arm is normally up here on the Lexus, but that would result in the uh, shifts being reversed so that when we'd push the stick all the way forward, this cable would push out and that would push the arm forward, which would be putting it into drive. So we'd be in park on the shifter, but we'd be in drive on the gearbox. So to fix that, we had to flip the arm upside down, uh, which then basically flipped the order of the shifts. So they were in the correct orientation for our BMW cable. And then we had to shorten the shifter arm because the troll was too long because we had to match the troll on the detents in the gearbox with the movements on the shifter uh, up in the car. So that's done. A little clamping bolt on here. Uh, it's pretty crude, but it works. It's just reusing as much of the original uh, components as we could. Now, just to re remind folks, because Oh, that things tend to be a bit of goldfish memory sometimes. This shifter, the only mechanical action that it has is to be in park or not in park. Everything else is handled by controlling the mo mo motors in the gearbox. So, but what we can do is a shift position sensor here and a, K a cable is we could route that to the VCU. So we'll be able to use this as a, you know, it'll tell the VCU whether we're in forward, reverse, neutral, you know, kind of thing, or indeed park. Uh, but it'll be nice to have the park lock uh, available to us. You know, it just gives you that extra degree of safety uh, when you're parking on a hill or something like that. So that's our shifter. Um, oil pump is here. And uh, just some of the coolant line I threw in there. That's uh, coolant in and then coolant out on the far side. That's the heat exchanger there and the coolant drain plug for that. So it's all, you know, pretty straightforward mechanically getting these things in. It's just work. Uh, hence why I didn't, um, I didn't get too carried away with videoing all of it for you. But, you know, there it is again, just bit of basic mounting and stuff like that 
uh, but it's in. Uh, so the next thing we got to do is get our drive shaft uh, back from the back from the guys, and we'll be uh, all set for fitting drive shaft. So folks, that's about where things are at with the land yacht at the minute. Uh, apologies, we don't have much more kind of interesting things going on here for you. But uh, sometimes this EV game is literally just about crawling around on your back, under a car, sweating, covered in, in dirt, getting grit in your eyes, and so forth. So this was one of those occasions. So anyway, that's all I've got for you today. And we'll be back to you uh, with another episode when we have some of the electrical stuff done. And hopefully some... Um, VCU uh, programming to do and going driving, which should be a lot of fun. So, as always, don't forget to dislike, thumbs down, do not share, do not subscribe. If you are subscribed, unsubscribe. Um, do check the links in the description for the Open Inverter Forum, GitHub, and other fun links in there where you can download all of my hard work and make it yourself. Uh, but whatever you do, don't support me on Patreon and PayPal and all that kind of thing, because then I'll just want to do more of this stuff and spend your hard-earned cash on these kind of stupid projects. So, you've been warned. So, until then. Happy Lexus swapping.